up like a seesaw when I'm on a beat like an old man's lawn. Better keep off from the ground to the tree tops. Got clouds on my feet like Jack in the beast. I jumped off quick, went straight in a free fall. Cowboy hat and a mic. Turn it to a tick, 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 boom. Yeah, I talk a lot of stuff. Probably started. Hi, girls. Hello. We're so excited to be here tonight. Thank Good you. evening. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening. Hey, ladies. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. There's still many people in the waiting room, so we'll be adding them on and probably repeating yeah, ourselves yeah, those, yeah. those first yeah. two minutes mm -hmm. while everybody's coming on. But we're so excited. Yeah. We want you guys to drop in the chat what's one thing you want to learn about becoming yes. a business life coach. Yes. One thing while we get started. And for those of you who are going to do a giveaway, Aww, we're going to give away the Girl Up On Your Bible shirt. We're so cute. See, it's so cute. They came in yesterday. Yes, yes. We just got those in. Yes. And then we have some current and some alumni students yes. that are going to actually talk tonight. So mm -hmm, we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. There's one thing for us to talk about becoming a life coach and the right, two-week journey, right, but there's right. another when the girls can do it. When yeah, the students can yeah. Do it. when you hear it yeah. directly from them, those who are currently, who are yeah. in our current class, and then those who are alumni. Yeah, I like that, how to be a better me. Oh, going yeah. deeper in God's word, yeah. knowledge and self-worth, yeah. definitely yeah. in the knowledge and self-worth uh -huh. area. Yeah. Um, yeah. The webinars, this is our exclusive time to show you all the coaching academy. Mm -hmm. This is our only time we get like once a quarter to share everything, yeah. unless you guys book some time with us. But yep. this is it. And so we're so excited to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see empowering other women through prayer and the promises of God. Yeah. Love that. Yes. How to be Jesus as the real me. Oh, he sees me being to the darkness of the places. Yes, the light. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Asha, how to make an impact and walk fully, fully in the call. call. Yes. Yeah, we think you guys are going to love it because we, you know, you can, walking in your purpose is beautiful, mm -hmm. but discovering who you truly are is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And we, and we only get that by walking with the Lord. That is for sure. That is for sure. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, we have three main buckets along this journey. Mm -hmm. So we have personal growth. In that area, we're going to talk about journey to self-actualization. Right. Yes, you guys are going to be learning. Yes. Then we're going to talk about leading ministries and getting equipped to help others in ministry while you're leading ministry. And then last but not least, we're talking about build a career. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can make an impact. You can make money while doing it as a life coach. And it's not something that uh, people talk about much, but we do. We will and we will share. Yeah. Okay. So we want to take this moment also to introduce ourselves. So we are Charity, Sierra, and we are the founders of Girl, Girl Open Your, Your Bible. Bible. And so God really gave us a vision to make studying his word really a safe, fun, and enjoyable place, right? Yes. Because we believe that getting into God's word and seeing new things that we haven't seen before, like that's exciting, it right? Is. That that can be just as exciting as anything else. So yes. we love to embody that. And we do that in our Bible studies mm -hmm. um, that we have in our Facebook. So we are advanced biblical life coaches and trainers. Like I said, we're on a mission to help God's daughters not only dive deeper into his word, but to also ask the tough questions to him, right? Because mm -hmm. we don't know all the answers, right? We That's don't right. Know all the answers, but we say go to the father because guess yes. what? He does, mm -hmm. right? Uh, one thing about us, we tossed our corporate jobs to the side. We did. Right? Um, and we said, Lord, we're going to do it for you mm -hmm. because we believe that in, we believe in what you've given us, yes. right? And so we want to help other women, not necessarily toss their job, but we want to help yes. other women <laughs> discover all that God That's has the for truth. them too, okay? Yes. And yes. so we have a coaching academy that has really changed the lives of hundreds of women. Yes. Um, and we are dedicated to seeing even more lives change, right? As we encourage women by saying, girl, girl open, open your, your Bible. Bible. Okay, so does this sound like you? 
And some of you, you guys have already mentioned this already. So you light up rooms that you walk in. Mm -hmm. You bring God's light to your friends and your family situations. You're always the one yeah. they call yeah. when they feel, you know, dark. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can see good things in situations where people only see bad things, yeah. right? You are the friend that everyone calls when they need someone, right. you know, to talk to. People naturally tell you all their problems mm -hmm. without you prompting for information. Right. You're just like, here we go again. This yep. is just my gift. You flow in that gift. And you already know. So when someone starts to share or overshare, you're like, it's in, it's in me, it's right. in the blood. Right. <laughs> you can interpret dreams or visions that people get. Mm -hmm. You speak life and light into others. You are kind <clears throat> artists. You have a divine insight. You have divine insight. The friend that constantly talks about Jesus. Okay. It um, just naturally. It just naturally. We used to I, say. I tell you that. Smith. We used to say, like, I'm a little obsessed with Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust God with your life. Yes. And you want best for others. Um, this is not the extensive list. This no, is just some no. of the things. These are common things. But you also want to know how to use your gift. Yes. Here. Like, what does that actually look like for you, mm -hmm. you know? physically what does that practically look like for you right. using your gift in health in health okay so right now we are going to talk about the journey to self-actualization when we talk about this 10-week journey that you that you would go on with us to become a biblical life coach y'all it starts with self it yeah. starts with personal growth mm -hmm. and if you want to know particularly what type of classes that right? You would, that would entail, right? What are those things that you'll learn by going on this 10 week journey? Roll open your Bible. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're going to talk about the lies that we believe. Yes. And I'm going to tell you like, I don't believe no lies, girl. There girl. are lies that we tell ourselves. Girls, there right? are lies that we tell that ourselves. That we have to be checked on. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I've been saying that and I've been believing that, mm -hmm. but now it's time for me to challenge it yes. and challenge it based on what God says in his word. Yes. So yes, we're going to yes. talk about that. Yep, we we're going to talk about your personal values, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know what your personal values are and you aren't living within the confines of them, what then what are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> then what are we doing? So we're going to yeah. teach you about uh, those those values that you should be following and then you'll be able to give that also yeah. to your clients, right? Yeah. So that they know who, who they are and mm -hmm. what they stand for. And I'm telling you, when you start living by those values, life gets better. Life gets better. Those right. anxiety noises get out yes. of the way. Because you're yes. like, oh, well, I didn't overcommit. You know, I okay. didn't say yes to something that my, I value. No, right? I'm not living outside yes. of my boundaries. Like, like not me saying, mm -hmm. not, not me saying no to something that I need to say no to. Okay, also, we're going to talk about overcoming obstacles. We like to say that life be life. In, life. Right? Life. And what we really mean by that is that obstacles will come. But we want to know how are we going to and how are you going to get over them when they come? Yes. Right? You know how one of those sayings that we always say, if it's not for if it's not this, it's something else. Yeah. Right. You get a, you get a few dollars in your hand all of a sudden. Right. Uh, <laughs> you, you get a flat tire. Well, here's it will happen. It will right? happen. Yes. And you get the tire fixed and then something happens with the refrigerator. What? Those are obstacles that are going to happen. Yes. Right. And so those are things that we can prepare for and overcome mm -hmm. right and then also we're gonna about talk about how to achieve goals right yes you know every year at the beginning of the year we all say i want to accomplish this i want to accomplish that and then 30 days later, later right we've dropped them yep so we want to talk about not just talking about new year's resolutions not just talking about well you know what i think i do want to do that we're talking about going from having the idea of something that you want to do and actually finishing it actually finishing it and let me tell you that is worth why well, it is priceless it's priceless it is guys. legit priceless so wanted to talk about that journey of personal growth and the classes that we talked to that pertain to that yes now let's let's get to the good stuff here. let's get to the good okay part. <laughs> okay let's get to the good part i want to talk about maslow's hierarchy of needs right so maslow's hierarchy of needs is a psychology principle right? That highlights needs that we all have as individuals, right? I have these needs, you have these needs. At the bottom, we have the basics, right? Yes. So we all need food, we all need water, we all need shelter. We all need safety, okay? So we need to feel security and we need to feel stability. Yes. 
we have relationship needs. So what does that mean? We have, we need family. We need community, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Those are all things. And so if you think about it, sometimes people are like, well, why do you feel like you need that, right? If you're single, it's like you have, you say, why do you feel like you need a bit right here? Because we all have need for relationships, yeah. right? So those are things that we actually need. We need food. We need shelter, mm -hmm. right? We need to feel safe. Those are things that we need. We also have esteem needs. So that means we need to feel good about ourselves, right? And so, and not just feeling good about ourselves, we also need to be recognized. So if you feel like you're at work and people aren't recognizing, you're like, well, Lord, why do I feel like I need to be recognized? Y'all, we all have that need, right? We all have a need to be recognized. Yes. We all have a need to be appreciated. Is something going on? Can everyone hear us? Yes. yes okay. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just, I got a, yes. a little bit cut off with that. Okay. So I wanted to make sure everyone could hear us. So we all have those relationship needs and guess what y'all? We also all have self-actualization needs. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about self-actualization, all we're really talking about is a need for purpose, right? We all, all, all have that need. And if you're wondering why you're feeling and you're asking God, right? Lord, is there more? Girl, it's because there is. Mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. is there, there is more. There is more with him. There is more to the life that he has for you. There is more that he has that he wants you to do and fulfill. Yes. Right? All of those things. So we were at Bible study last night and we started talking about Matthew. We were studying Matthew 20 and we got into Matthew 22, 14, right? And most of you have heard this. It states yeah. that many are called, but few are chosen. I don't know about y'all, right? But I've always questioned exactly what that means. What does mm -hmm. that mean? Many are called, few are chosen. Well, lately, Sierra and I, we like to read different translations, right? And so we opened up the message translation and it says, many get invited, but few make it, mm -hmm. right? And so when we merge those two together and we say, many are chosen, but few make it, Y'all, that blew my mind. Yeah. And it blew my mind because according to Maslow, right? So mm -hmm. he created this principle. According to Maslow, only one to 2% of people actually reach self-actualization. Mm. So by our definition, that means only one to 2% of people are going as deep as they can go mm. with God. Yes. Only one, one to 2% of people are fulfilling all that God wants them to do. And that's where we're called. And we're like, uh-uh, uh -huh. we can't have that. We can't have that. We cannot have that. We yeah, want that's as sad. many that's of sad. you. It's sad. Yeah. We want as many of you as possible to do exactly what God wants you to do. And we want you to go deeper. We and we want you to go further yes. with him. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we got to get us out of that one to 2%. Yep. Right. And so my belief is that when we start reaching that self-actualization, then we are going after the father with all of our heart. All of it. And guess what? That's what he Hold wants us to do, too, because that's when we yep. can influence and touch the lives of other people. Yes, yes, yes. So I said that. Right. And it's like, oh, my gosh, only one percent, one to two percent of people make it. That yes. that is let me get off of here. Right. Let me get yeah. off the call because I'm not going to make it. Well, here's what I want to tell you. <laughs> right. We want to tell you that y'all. The journey and the road to self-actualization, the journey to purpose, you know, it's not a straight shot. Yeah. Okay. You're already on it. Yeah. That's what's beautiful. You are already yes. on it. Yes, girl. Um, I was living in Louisiana before. And so in Louisiana, North Louisiana, we have I-49, right? Very popular highway. When I was getting ready to move to Arkansas, you know, I went on the map. Clearly, I can't read a map right. I went on the map, and Arkansas also had I-49. I said, yes, this is a straight shot. I'm going straight. When I get ready to move to Arkansas, seven hours away, I'm going to get on I-49. I'm going to stay on that. Y'all, that wasn't true. That was not true. I had to get to I-49, get off, go all these back windy roads, right? Scary. Mm -hmm. But y'all, I came to Arkansas, and I found purpose. Mm -hmm. And so it's not this straight shot. I want you to know that there's purpose 
exactly Perfect. where you are, mm -hmm. right? Everything that you're going through is purposeful. Those things that you've been through, they're purposeful. We know that God turns around everything for our good. Yes. Some of the stuff that we've gone through, horrible. Horrible. Okay. Right? Some Ain't nothing you got to go through. Horrible. About. It's nothing to smile yeah. about. It's horrible. It's been traumatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but God has given you a story that you can share to help someone else. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And on this journey, you can still get to self-actualization. Yes. That's what I want you to know. You can still get to knowing yourself better, right? Where you become self-aware and you know why you do the things you do. You ever mm -hmm. get mad at some people like, I don't even know why I did that. Yeah. Why did I even act yeah, like why did I, that? Right? Why did that trigger me like that? On this personal journey, right, to becoming a biblical life coach, we've seen so many people just be able to, to understand why they do the things that they do. And only when we're self-aware can we begin to change it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what that's what we wanted to talk about here, right? Yes. That search for a purpose that we all have is because we God made us that way. Yes. And with him, we can go deeper. Okay. So what we're saying that we want to stop the purpose hunt, right? We want to move from just our plan, which is our own understanding. And we want to move to God's plan. And that's really involves having the peace that um, surpasses understanding. So yes. how do we do that? Well, we do that when we understand that we tap into our uniqueness mm -hmm. and true potential when we allow ourselves to be who God made us to be. And I know what you're wondering. You're like, well, how do I do that? That sounds that? good, that right? That sounds good. Of course. That's all That's all I got to do. But give me the direction. And I'm going to tell you, y'all, we've been reading um, in our Bible study group, Girl, Open Your Bible. Yeah. You're not already in there. Get in the group. We've been reading Matthew. And I've read Matthew before. Yeah, I've read Matthew And I <laughs> am seeing Matthew with brand new eyes. Yeah. Okay? And so we were reading one part of Matthew, right? And God was talking to, Jesus was talking to his disciples. And he says, who am I? And Peter answers and he says, well, Lord, you are, Jesus, you are the son of God, mm -hmm. right? And so Jesus then turns to him and he says, only God could have told you that first off. Yep. And he said, but since you have believed in me, now I'm going to tell you who you are, who you really are, really right? Are. Yeah. And then Jesus just begins to speak into Peter and tells him like, you are like a rock and I'm yeah. going to build my church on you. And I just, we just want you to know, that as we, and as you get closer to God, you get into his word, you will begin to know, and he will begin to tell you who yes. you are, who you really are. Yes, yes, yes. So you're all on here and you're like, okay, well, you're talking about a journey to purpose, yes. right? That as, as if I come on this 10 week journey with you, I'm going to have, but let, what, what's biblical life coaching though? <laughs> like, but what, <laughs> what is it? Is it there? Like you're talking about, but what is it? Well, Biblical life coaching is about taking your clients right from where they are to where God wants them to be. Yes. Have you ever questioned something? You're like, well, God, is this what you really Ooh, want from me? Should I do you know, this? should I yeah. take that job? Right? Mm -hmm. Should I be with this person? Yeah. Right? All of these different things. Mm -hmm. And we're saying, okay, well, let's 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 go on a biblical foundation. What are you trying to exceed, um, achieve, et cetera, et cetera? Right. Mm -hmm. So we want to help to facilitate growth and change by actually taking action yes so sometimes we don't sometimes right? we don't like i don't know what to do so now i'm just gonna yes. sit here mm -hmm. i don't know what to do there's too so many i'm just gonna wait the right there's too many obstacles in the way mm -hmm. um there was some research done by the american society of training and development and they did a study on accountability and they found that if you have an accountability partner right you say you're going to do something and you have an accountability um <laughs> partner you're 65 percent likely to get there right yes so it's like i say sierra you know what i'm on this journey i'm about to lose some weight yep i'm gonna call you next week you know mm -hmm. and i'm gonna tell you how my workouts went yeah if you have somebody like that you're 65 percent likely yep. to get it done mm -hmm. however if you have someone who you have dedicated time with yeah and y'all have talked about action steps mm -hmm. you go from 65 percent to 95 percent yes and that is how pivotal it is to have a coach right it that's is. how pivotal right because if you're not holding me accountable and I, 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 and I can miss that on our meeting okay mm -hmm. I, I, why would i Mm -mm. I don't know mm -hmm. if anybody's like C. Yeah, something. I'm about to watch Love is Blind. Yeah. I'm not I'm right there. walking dead is on <laughs> and I'm not holding myself accountable. Yeah. Right. And that's a, and it may not be the first meeting, but eventually 
our old habits start yeah. to get us. Yeah. And this is where you need that accountability. Yes. You need someone you trust, someone in your corner, someone that is biblically sound. Yes. That's not giving you advice okay. to help you. Because we've all had people give us advice yes. to be wrong. Yeah. You know, and then we back eating um, all of the uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Right. Those you things know? that we should not be eating. Mm -hmm. So that is when you become a biblical life coach, mm -hmm. when you when you become a life coach, that's what you do for people. Yep. You hold them accountable. Yes. You get them from, and honestly, you really get them from 10%. Yeah. I didn't go through the whole list of statistics, but actually, if you just have an idea, yeah, you're 10% likely to do it. Yes. So in all actuality, you're moving people from 10% to 95%. Yes. That is life changing. Yes, yes. That yes. is life changing. That is how critical life coaching is. Mm. Okay. So, and what does that process look like? You're like, okay, what does it look like? Well, you're going to ask your clients strategic questions, right? Mm -hmm. Versus telling them, like we said, what to do. Yeah. And don't worry, we teach you those strategic questions. All of that, right? You would learn that mm -hmm. throughout the program, the yep. cert certification program. Mm -hmm. And so just so you know, too, coaches, because, you know, you're like, okay, well, they're like therapists. No. No. Coaches build toward the future, like mm -hmm. an ar architect versus therapists, right? Who are focused on the past and digging up those things. Yeah. We're like, you know what? Those things happen. Yeah, those right? things happen. They've been dug up. Now what are we going to do with them? Right. Y'all, we're moving forward. We're, moving we're forward. reaching those goals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing those things that God wants us to do. So why? So we can get to self-actualization. Right. So we can go deeper. We can help others go deeper. Right. So Charity told us what biblical life coaching is right. i'm going to tell you what it's not so co coaches are not like counselors or therapists who mm -hmm. deal with the person's past and need for healing coaches are not mentors who practice succession training or getting someone to replace them right. you know like mentors coaches are not like consultants who solve problems by providing mm -hmm. expertise or formulas why because we're not god no we don't have this master plan we get out of his way yeah. and we go shoulder to shoulder yes, and we partner on him. we partner with our clients to do what he's called them to do and we help them just like uh caleb and joseph i'm oh, saying this wrong yeah. aaron and joseph yeah, helped help moses them. but i'm saying all the names wrong they <laughs> helped moses all the way that is what yeah. your role is yeah to hold and them up they to help hold, hold up. up their arm so that they can do what god has called them to right do. that's a great yeah it is such a great example. that doesn't mean that a person doesn't need healing it just means that's not your role mm -hmm. that's the father's role and they right. can go get therapy right right and after they they start their therapy journey for a little bit, then they come back and they say, hey, I'm ready to do this with therapy. Yeah. I'm ready to move forward. Use this pain that I have for good. Yep. You know. Yep. All right. So drop this in the chat. What do you picture when you see yourself as a coach? Yeah, we want to know. We want to know. Some of you may say, I see myself coaching like this. I see my, or somebody said, I don't know yet. You yeah, know, yeah, we yeah, want to yeah. know, we're going to have a myriad of answers, but yep. we want to know, what do you see? Right. Why? Because we are about to hear the first testimony of the night is coming from someone that's very yeah. dear to our heart. And she's going to tell you her journey. Yeah. And yeah. you know, her, her testimony, her mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. of becoming a biblical life coach. And hopefully you can see yourself yeah. in there. Yeah. Okay, so Vanessa is dear to our hearts. She is our girl. That's what we call her. She is our girl. Let's hopefully it does the hearts. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it didn't do my heart. Anyway, she's our girl. Yeah. And she means a lot to us. Uh, Vanessa has been with us since the beginning. Yeah, and so she can yeah. tell you from the behind the scenes and from the yeah. scenes about this journey. Yeah. Okay, Vanessa, take it away. Hi, everyone. <laughs> So I'm Vanessa, and I actually asked the Lord what should my testimony be, and he gave me Isaiah 41, verse 13, and it says, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. And that's basically what Girl Open Your Bible is. Everything that we have done from the beginning until now, everything that you are seeing, this is the answers that we receive from God because everything we do, before we do it, we ask the Lord about it. And um, when we ask the Lord, how can we reach and empower women to open their Bibles? He said that he gave us 43,000 women who we minister right now. And this coaching academy so that we could 
So that Sierra and Charity could train you to become a biblical life coach. And um, the thing that I want to say about the coaching academy is I know that there are questions in your mind that may say, how will I know if this is my calling, if this is my purpose, or how do I know if this is for me? The answer would always go back to, girl, open your Bible. Because God, <laughs> because God will let you know if this is for you. If you are seeing our posts, if you are seeing our ads, and it's like nonstop just receiving our emails, maybe, then maybe take it as a sign that God is leading you here. For me, I have found my calling when I was already in the coaching academy. All the lessons will reveal the, your identity, your beliefs, everything about you. And then you'll discover more about you. And most especially, you'll discover your identity in Christ. And that is what's special about the coaching academy. <laughs> love that Thank love you, you. That so she hit it on the head yeah. you're going to learn a lot yeah you're going to learn a lot and so like we said we bucketed it in three categories personal growth now let's talk about the things you learn from leading yeah. in ministry you're going to learn coaching competencies what right. does an ideal client look like right what is it doesn't what, how should you niche? Should you be a grief coach? Should you be a relationship coach? Should you be a purpose coach? What type of biblical life coach is God calling you to be? Mm -hmm. You're going to learn how to active listening. Why? Because listening is a gift we get to give yes. to this world yes. because this world wants people to hear them. Hmm. If you if you ever had a friend that just listened to you, like, oh my God, I love you so much, yes. girl, because you listen to me. We We give you the tools to actively listen. Listen for things that are being said. Listen to things that are not being said, right? You get to you get to learn questioning techniques. And there's a lot. There's a lot of questioning yes, techniques. You yes. would be, your mind would be blown about how many techniques are out there, but how many you do naturally because it's your yes. gift. It is inside of you already. You get to learn our coaching process, which is called the breakthrough model and how to help someone reach breakthrough, Yes, right? And just like Vanessa beautifully said in Isaiah 41, the Lord guides them. He holds their hand. All we are doing is being a physical representation. Yep, that's that's what we get to do. And it's a beautiful gift. And it's a beautiful calling mm -hmm. that all of us have. Okay, so do any of you currently lead or desire to lead a ministry? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. You know, leading a ministry could, it's full of, you know, beauty, but it also can be full of burden, right? Mm -hmm. Because people are dumping their lives on T, right? And so imagine you getting the tools to be able to receive a dump. And being no know, and knowing what to do with the dump. Right. 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 Being know what to do so you're not left with it feeling drained and heavy. And heavy mm -hmm. and getting put that thing back on them and empowering them. So when they walk away from your presence, they feel his power. Mm -hmm. They feel joy. They feel peace. They feel love. And not not like they're gonna tell the next person that who else will listen to them. Okay. But that repeating they that same story. Repeating that, that same that's story. Okay. That's okay over and over again also in ministry you also build relationships in the academy you get to learn how to strengthen those relationships mm -hmm. and so you don't repeat the same habits that broke relationships over and over and over again it is that impactful so as leaders you know we want to get you to go from being a leader to going from getting equipped you know, so getting equipped with the tools to strengthen relationships, right? And ready to actually take the actions right. and feel charged and empowered into God others with mm -hmm. the skills. So who are you? Are you ready to take action? Yeah. Or are you just, I'm just already a leader, you know? You know? Okay, speaking of leaders, um, Lena, let's talk about Lena. She, oh, I don't want to, uh, Lena, I don't want to tell you. I, we got to hear the girl's testimony yeah, before yeah. this. So. And she said something and I was like, oh. She don't even know where she's at in the program. And it's like, perfect. She is a leader and has always been a leader when it yeah. talks, when we talk yeah. about the Lord and being yeah. called to single yes. mothers, but she's, a, she's called to all women. Mm -hmm. And I hope, and I pray that what she has to share blesses you, especially yeah. from the ones who need to be reignited. Yeah. Hi, Lena. Mm. Reignited. That's a, a powerful word. You guys are so awesome. I want to say, about I call CMC I call them CMC right 
<laughs> Parody and Sierra, they have this infectious, joyous quality about them. And it's so genuine. And being part of the academy, I, I ran across the Facebook group, um, you know, a couple months ago and joined the academy and whatnot. And it's been a true, I'll say this, it's been a true self-discovery. It's the, the part of the academy really has to do with developing a relationship with yourself and diving in deeper to the healing that God has for you. So when I think about the academy, I think about the calling, I think about confidence, I think about compassion and completion. But one thing, and then of course career, but one thing I didn't anticipate was community. The community that the academy brings forth and having um, a group of like-minded women who love God, who have a heart after Jesus, and just like, Jesus, here I am, what do you want to do with my life? You know, and so I want to dispel any confusion, any, can God really use me? Or what's happening with my life? I don't understand this, and God can't use me because I did this. <laughs> Girl, open your Bible. <laughs> he wants to use you, he can use you, and guess yeah. what? He will. And mm -hmm. so, I don't know. It's just, oh, and I do want to say this. Some, me, the single mom part, I'm used to doing everything on my own. I'm used to having to do this, plus, this, plus, plus. You do the Bible, do that, do the, do the, do the, just do whatever got to be done. But here, you have a group of women who's like, girl, come on, let's talk about this. Let's talk this through. You don't have to do it alone. Yeah. You know, you have to do it for yourself. God does it through you. But you don't have to do it alone. And so that's another thing I really appreciate. Yeah. Lena, thank you for sharing yeah, that. that. It's so great. true. You're not on this journey alone. Mm -hmm. You're on this journey with a other women, with a lot of other yes, women. Yes. Yeah. And they all in the same boat as you. And they're like, mm -hmm. girl, this homework wrecked me. <laughs> girl, this homework was in my business. Why? Okay. I didn't even want to answer that question. Okay, That's, like, I will never be the same. No, I'm never right? going to be the same. Now I made a, made aware of this. Yeah, I'm I'm self aware I'm now. Self aware. Okay, yeah. so um, the last part of this is build a career. This is what people you secretly want to know, but you don't tell nobody. Okay, you be like, I want to know. Just give can me. Can I make a, some money? Can Can I just make some <laughs> money? And so we will go through it. And so y'all learn how to guide others to God's plan and make an income. Mm -hmm. Learn new coaching tools. Learn how to use simple worksheets. So all the worksheets we use in Academy, we will give them to yes. you for yes. you to use. Yep. And so we do that. Why? Because you saw, you know, you know, a revelation. You got yes. changed. You got using this worksheet. So now you're going to use that same thing to go help others. Right. Same thing. Learn how to help clients make choices. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to mm -hmm. this week of class. This off topic, but also <laughs> learn about coach marketing. Yeah. And we're excited about that because the, the class is currently going there. They're in for it. Okay, so let's talk about it. So who are you? So are you a coach, therapist, mentor, pastor, ministry leader looking to add biblical life coaching certifications to your skill set? Right now, we have all of those in the gap. We do. We, we have do. all of them. Yes. We have doctors. We have therapists. Mm -hmm. We have mentors. Why? Because they want to add it to yep. their skill set. Pastors. All yep, of pastors, them. all of them. I think pastors that is like the top one. <laughs> and we're like, we of course. Yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is if you're ready to make part-time or full-time income. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the things that people are like, I, I think I can. Or you don't, or you're mm -hmm. insecure about it, but you're like, but still give me the D. Right. So who are you? Drop it. Drop it in. Drop it. Drop it low, girl. Drop it. Drop it. Low, Let us know. Okay. So there are 1.5 million searches every month for life coaches, business coaches, and executive coaches, right? And we wanted to include this number because we want you to understand that there is a market out here for coaching mm -hmm. and it's only increasing, right? That's right. If you look at where the market is going for coaching, they're like, it's not deep. It's not on the decline. It yes. is on the increase. And so yes. see, Aaron and I are also on a mission, right? Yes. Really. We've been talking about this just <laughs> over the past couple of weeks. We wanted to share is that we're on a mission too, to allow people to really understand like how much they need it, how much they need it. Also like our terminology of life coaching 
you know, has changed. Like, yeah, for sure. I would for say sure. I didn't know anything about the industry. And then when I found it, when I, like myself, I was like, oh my goodness, this is what I'm called to do. I didn't know it had a term. I didn't know it was a career. I didn't know it was an industry. Now I must, I must, yes. I must, you know, equip the others to do. Yes, yes. And then Charity shared with me a funny story on a road trip recently what she thought about life coaches until oh, well, she well, hired I them. Had, okay, I had no idea, right? Yeah. And then I had, I was working for this particular company and they had this program. I got into the program and they gave us a career coach. Mm -hmm. And y'all, I went in there and I started talking to that woman to your, oh, <laughs> oh, girl, they say this about me. Girl, this, girl, that, right? Because there's some self, like, yeah. you start talking to anybody, right? And this particular person, she had a life coaching certification. And I mean, like, because who we are, so it's like, it's tied so much together. And she just poured it to me. And, and so um, just from our, right, our sessions, she helped me to understand where I was, where I wanted to go, right? And so mm -hmm. after those sessions, I got promoted, right? I got into um, a new part of the business I said I wanted to be in. So it's like, this stuff is really life changing. changing. Yeah. You know, what Sierra is talking about is that I thought, if I, you know, I, I just, I didn't have the, the best, um, she didn't have the best it. view. I just didn't yeah. have the best view of it. Y'all that like when I tell you it's life changing, I don't know really what else to say besides yeah. that, because I think we can live our lives so unaware of what go, what's going on and yeah. unaware of where God wants to take us. Yeah. Or where God is. Some well, people don't even okay. know where God is in the moment or that they even can hear him. Right. And so being right. that vessel in yeah. their life is is yeah. is worth more yeah. than anyone could ever imagine and so we're on a mission to make sure because like we said that's how many people are searching for life coaches every not month. biblical coaches right do you know people are searching biblical coaches they sure are christian coaches because yes. they don't want just any coach right, they're looking right, for you because the foundation has to be there we know mm -hmm. that right we know that we have to, mm -hmm. we can't build our foundation on the same mm -hmm. we know this right know the that. word says that and so that's why we want to bring the biblical truth into that element yes. right so we're not, like we said, we're not just saying anything. We're saying what God says. So, so people are searching, right? Because they want to pay for coaching. Yeah, yeah. So this is what it typically looks like when you're a new coach, what you can charge. This yeah. is how we coach. So we coach a minimum of $100 per one hour session. Why? You'll see in two seconds. You'll see when you, when you become a coach, when you start asking yeah, them questions. Yeah. Yes, you're not McDonald's. And we always make this funny running joke. Yeah. Don't be like me. When I was a new coach, I charged $25. And I have my coach was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're no, it's a hundred dollars. Did you know that most new coaches typically have a caseload of five clients mm -hmm. that they meet weekly? That is easily four hundred dollars per client, mm -hmm. which is two thousand dollars a month. That's twenty four thousand a year. That's side income. Mm -hmm. It is. That's side income. But the typical coach that is running their business, right, makes sixty one thousand. Yeah. You can make full time income or side income. That choice is up to you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and what God is telling you. And what God is telling you. We know that coming through us, this is what we're going to coach you to do, mm -hmm. to charge $100 per session. Why? Yeah. Because we know the value. Mm -hmm. And people pay more than that, right? Right. And so people pay more than that for us. People pay more than that for anything, actually. Uh, uh, cell phones. So, yeah, <laughs> cell phones. There. Cell Cars. Phones. Yeah, you know. They will pay $100 for, yeah, for yeah. them to have an experience. Yeah, once that once they understand how, like, impactful this stuff is. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. Okay, so the ROI for your investment, these numbers always have tripped me up, but they're true because when I started investing into myself, mm -hmm. when I started investing in coaching, they're true. It's 7X. I've never invested in something that I've gotten that type mm -hmm. of return on investment. And obviously, we're speaking to the girls who care about there are all, yeah. you know, like, what am I going to get out of this? How right. do I know? Right. Because this is your life, girlfriend, mm -hmm. and it's game changing. Yep. It is a game changer for you, but it's not just about you. It's about generations. Yes. It's, it's about, about mm -hmm. the the grandmas you would touch, the mothers yep. you would touch, the yep. teenagers you would touch, the yep. fathers you would touch. It's about them. That is why you see these out, these God numbers. This is what mm -hmm. I call the God oh, element. Right. When yep. it's off the darn charts, mm -hmm. when it's off the charts. Okay, so 99% who hire coaches say they're satisfied or very satisfied. I don't, nobody says that about their job. You know, people be okay. lying on those darn, oh, um, those servers. Those like, how satisfied, the end of the, mm. how satisfied are you? Girl, you know you want no darn very I satisfied. I just want to fill them out because I don't want to lie. Yep. I'm like, 
Did you, did you? No, you know, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't feel it out. You know, I didn't. Okay. I think that this next testimony is so yeah. pitiful when we talk about yeah. work and we talk about purpose. Yes. Janae has been a friend of ours, mm -hmm. a client of ours for a long time. And we wanted her to share her story. One, because she's amazing, but two, because she's going to rock your world. <laughs> Go ahead, Janae. Hi, my love. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everybody's doing great. Um, yes. Hopefully, hopefully y'all can hear me well because I'm on my way, like, driving to pick the girls up for Bible study, so bear with me. Um, but for me, I... You know, I expressed this in the last call that we had. Um, at the time that I started going through the coaching academy, I was mainly trying to, I've always been the type of person who, whenever people come to me, they want to just tell, like, pour their life story out. And I won't even ask questions. They'll just start telling me everything. And mm -hmm. so they could be in this, like, cycle of just constant, like, turmoil or all these things are going on. And then by the time we're done talking, they feel that like this weight has been lifted. And yeah. a lot of it is because sometimes we need those moments where we can just kind of have, have that clarity or God use uh, use others as vessels to help us get the clarity that we're seeking. Moments we're praying about things of that nature. And my ultimate goal in life has always been to make people feel or help people feel 1% better, no matter what that looks like. What I did not realize is that was, basically my early sign that coaching was what my gift was along with being a servant leader and being empathetic all of these things it all like tied together slowly but surely and then three weeks before I was about to get my uh, certification our family got hit with really tough news that almost made me quit but I didn't realize at the time that that was happening that I was exactly where I needed to be Yes. Because I had my circle, I had people who were in different stages of their journey, but also who were also seeking, like, for God to just be, like, be a fence in this situation that I'm dealing with. And for me, it just helped me feeling surrounded by people who were like-minded, who were Christ followers, who prayed over me taught me how to handle the situation better, how to lean on God, how to let go and let God and not try to control situations. That's when I took my power back. And so mm -hmm. after that, I was able to complete my certification. And that is honestly my testimony to this day, because now I am the proud owner and founder of Girl Get Empowered. Yay. And my job is to coach women on how to let go and let God so it's ironic how the thing that I struggle with the most is now my testimony to help bring others closer to him too yeah and I feel like that's our innate desire is that we want to we want to help others but we also want to make sure that we're on the path of where our purpose is and a lot of times taking that that big step of faith yeah. gets us so much more closer than when we get in our head or when we try to like talk ourselves down from doing something just because it's not safe. And if you have read any passage in the Bible where someone was called, it has never been a safe choice. It's always been a bold move <laughs> and a huge leap of faith that made no sense whatsoever. But then they later found out exactly how they were able to glorify God through that obedience. And I think that that's the most important factor when you make this bold decision to become a coach. Don't just like think about the cliches because I've, I've seen posts where people are just like, oh, you know, everybody's a coach now. I understand that, but there's also multiple brands of bread that's on the shelf at the grocery store and people have specific brands that they like. And it's the same way when we coach, we all have different gifts that we utilize with coaching. It's not a one size fits all thing. And that's exactly how your perspective has to be as you're going through this. Keep an open mind, pray all throughout, use real situations, fake mm -hmm. situation, whatever it takes so that you can gain that perspective and understand that throughout. Because you will, you'll be coaching each other. I'm sure C and, C and Chair have already gone through that, but you will be coaching each other, but it'll also help you have those aha moments while you're coaching but also experiencing it through seeing your like client quote unquote experience that that clarity as well and yeah. so I think just from my own perspective I know it has it's truly been a blessing in my life one I could never 
thank C enough. I know I have talked to you and Charity about it so much, but you being there for me during one of the toughest moments of my life, toughest moments of my life that I honestly, I've hit rock bottom before, but it was nothing like this. I don't think that I would be where I am today if it hadn't been for the coaching experience that I had as a client and also as a sister in Christ. That's yeah. what helped push me. I'm, I'm so thankful for your obedience and, and you allowing God to use you and even sharing your testimony to help me like in those moments to understand how to lean on God and exactly how to pray and how to have that clarity and how to just coach through it and make things make sense that weren't, that weren't clicking before, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that just, if that's what resonates with me. That's the exact same way that, you know, I work with my clients that one size does not fit all. We focus on their unique needs and we, we cater the coaching style and the strategy to exactly what their desires are and using those biblical principles to help keep them on track, but also help them get the clarity that they're seeking and to empower them to continue to grow, continue to like focus on what God has for them and to continue to be the woman that they were called to be. Thank you for that, Janae. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, boo. Thank you. We love you. And her journey was real. Mm -hmm. It was tough. Mm -hmm. And she even came back later just to sit in. She finished mm -hmm. her journey. Yeah. Uh, even though she went through hell in her journey, mm -hmm. you know, but she finished it strong. And then she came back and she helped others, you know, the next time around. Yeah. And she yeah. sat in and she relearned stuff when it was time again mm -hmm. to pick pick up her sword. And yeah. now she, like she said, she is a coach. Yeah. Right. And she's a, a coach with like full time. I'll say part full time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, she said, she's leading women to let go and let God. Yes. Why? Because we're in a generation of women that just keep picking stuff back up again. They keep picking it back mm -hmm. up again and picking it back yeah. up again. And she's doing well. And we're proud of you, Janae. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you didn't stop that you didn't stop, that you kept going. Mm -hmm. You are lovely. We love you. So we went through all of this. So yes. we went through what you'll learn over the 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. As a recap, you're going to go on a personal journey. Okay, it's bound to happen. You know, when we used to um, share about the coaching academy, we used to always focus on these two. Lead a yep. ministry or build a career. But we would be remiss, yes. right? In all of their stories, you heard what? They went on personal journeys. Mm -hmm. They thought they were coming for what? Building a career yep. or lead a ministry. But no, they were wrecked. Yes, <laughs> these hey. women grew mm -hmm. they were stretched yes yes and so that's what's happening here yep the first thing is first you this is about you in this part why mm -hmm. because you're getting coached and you will be coached by your classmates yeah. and you will be coached by us yeah and it's such a fun process it is you know it's gonna be your to, favorite time of the week it really will yeah right you get to the end of class, we'll break up, go into meeting rooms, and you just have the opportunity to, yep. to, to talk to your fellow classmates you and, sure and do. use real scenarios. Like, yeah. girl, what's going on? And mm -hmm. guess what? And actually get help. And actually get help. Okay? So mm -hmm. just something to, to, consider. to understand, really. Something to understand. So we went through this. How do we help you this? It's 10 weeks. Your last and final class, we'll talk about marketing strategies mm -hmm. to help you get started. We can't wait to help the girls that are on right now. Yeah. At the um, end of the 10 weeks, not only will you have an exam, but you'll also have a career discussion with the two yeah. of us. Talk about your goals. The reason why we wait to the end is because this is a beautiful journey. Yes, and we don't is. want you to rush to get to the career part and skip the self part. yeah and, and skip the the foundation right mm -hmm. of everything that we have to teach because right. your mind is focused more so on just building yeah. building the career aspect. yeah we want you need to learn how to fish for people before you start worrying about what's in your pocket mm -hmm. so academy specifics so it's 10 weeks live one hour sessions each week with us with us you know, if you're wondering how class yes. is yeah i would say um this is probably the best representation the, yes 
I'd say more fun. It's it's more fun. But because I'd say more in, fun. in class, you can come off mute. Yes, you're coming off mute. Yes. We're all talk. We're asking questions. Yes. Come on, talk to us. Talk to us. We're gonna talk to you. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And you get to hear, you know, dialogue and answers and questions from your fellow students, mm -hmm. right? That community aspect, you know, that yes. Lena talked about, Vanessa, yes. Janae, Janae, like it's yep. real, y'all. It is. It's real. And so you will get a certification. You will not get a certificate. Yes. That's two different things. Right. You will get an accredited certification. Uh, we are accredited. I'll throw this in there. We're accredited through uh, Biblical Alliance. Mm -hmm. um, they are a Christian organization that uh, they are, they accredited curriculums. And so yeah. the curriculum we use has been around since 2008. It's called Life Breakthrough Academy. Uh, the Lord gifted to us. Mm -hmm. And we just have a beautiful family with yeah. our organization. Yeah. And they are our board. Yeah. And they make sure that we are doing what we're supposed to do right. and that you are actually being trained and equipped. Right. And they'll look at your tests. They're the ones going yeah. to test and your practice coaching. Yeah. And so that is our cup. Right. And so right. for those of you who need that layer of extra mm -hmm. safety. So you also get training videos, which that's the live. You get a mm -hmm. printable workbook that you can use, but also that you will actually be doing. Yes. And so also it comes in digital. Since the last class, mm -hmm. we have made this a digital aspect because not everybody wants to print out something and write on it. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you got to turn it in. <laughs> okay. And then everyone who joins will get a girl from your Bible box. And so I know the girls could speak to it when they got their boxes. They were like, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. It was and a whole moment. It's it a whole a moment. You'll get a pink, uh, we call it an NK Bible, but it's New King James Version mm -hmm. Bible, an iridescent pin holder. It's very freaking cute. Mm -hmm. A yellow journal, um, highlighters, goodies. Girl, yeah. open your Bible wristband yes. and stickers. Yeah. And so it's cute. It's a whole moment. So let's talk about when class starts, right? Class starts yeah. April 4th, y'all, mm -hmm. right? It's right around the corner. It four, is. Four, we are so excited. 4, 4, 24. Yes. 4, yes. 4, 24. And so the deadline really to register is March 22nd, but you need to get on now. You and the reason why on. is because there are two very inexpensive books that you will have to purchase. Yep. And so you need to go ahead order that get it in so you can start prepping for class yes yes right? yes 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 we we are going we're, we're going we're saying you know god is calling you so let's go let's right? go um sierra you okay so let's talk about tuition so since last if you were on the webinar last time we talked about tuition and we were using what paypal yes. so but PayPal only worked for a select few. Right. So we had to change up things. Right, right. And so now we work with a firm who can break out the payments a little bit further. Right. Right. And so if by chance a firm does not work for you. So if you click that link that we just put in the chat and a firm denies you. Yeah. Right. Do not worry. We can mm -hmm. break it up in mm -hmm. three payments of 266. Right. But this is as far as we can go. Yeah. But we want to talk about that 798. Um, For some of you that can feel heavy yes yeah, some of you that can feel um, weighty and so we wanted to talk about move past the in, in, like investing in yourself right because that yeah. that we, we've talked about that right um yes yeah, so you deserve to invest in yourself but we're also saying that if god wants you on this journey girl pray about it yes. say lord send me a fish yep with the coin in its mouth yep. right mm -hmm. we've already said that to yep. a few people right who signed up yeah and y'all god and has made up. a way god has shown up so if it you're looking at this and you're saying it's too much go, go ask go ahead. your father go ahead go ask your father right he can make the way and get used to us saying that. Yeah, get used to us saying, "Girl, open your Bible. Girl, open go, your Bible. go ask him. Go ask him. Yeah, right. You're saying, Lord, I want to invest in myself. Mm -hmm. I don't have it, right? But mm -hmm. your father has it. Your yeah. father not worried about seven hundred. Yeah. So yeah. we're saying, go ask him, and y'all, he will send you to the fish, yeah. the coin in his mouth. Yes. So we want you to feel empowered too. Yes, we do. And we also like um, Sierra said, we partnered with the firm. To where we've seen some payments as low as what, like 50, 50, yeah. $50 a month, right? Yes. When you stretch that out you for like 16 out. months. And so, so, mind you, we're saying after firm, not after pay. After pay, we only do it for. Oh, did and I say? No, no, okay, you said okay, okay. You said a firm. Okay. Um, just when you click on it. Yeah. You yeah. know, it'll say a firm. And what we love about a firm is that it's not going to charge you anything for you to see. Yeah, just for you to see. For you to see. Yeah. Okay. Now we want to know in the chat, yep. choose your readiness. I'm not ready. I'm, I was just looking. Yeah. I'm just here. 
Two, I'm ready or I'm getting ready. I just need to know the payment plans. I need to see okay. a confirm a payback, right. whatever is going to work for me. And then three, I'm ready to join the academy. Yeah. We need you to drop your name, your email, and your readiness. Drop yep. it in the drop chat. Drop it in the chat. Drop it in chat. We want to know. And so and we're also going to send you the link, yes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll send you the link to the email and we dropped it in the chat and I can drop it in the chat again. Well, we're sending a link to the email or to the option to actually go ahead and... Both. Both. Okay. Drop your emails okay. for us to email you. Yes. And then we dropped the link already okay. to okay. Got it. to sign up for, to pay tuition. Yes. And that's to sign up yes. for a firm if you need yes. to. Yes. And then while we're doing that, we're going to have, we have two more stores. Yeah. We have Marguerite who's up next, which we love her dearly. And we have Deers. Yes. This is the gym. So all yes. you mommies in there, they're juggling a lot. Okay. You you're like, I, I don't know them. if I have time. Yes. But, but while they're telling their testimonies, we really want you to drop your name, yep. your email, and your readiness level. Yes. Readiness level again, I'm re I'm not ready, y'all. I'm just yes. looking. Two, I'm getting ready. I just need to know the payment plan details. Or three, I'm ready to join the academy. Yes, 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 yep. yes, yes. Oh, this is good timing. Uh-huh. It's good okay. time. Okay, Marguerite, I saw you just got back in. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there she, there she is. is. We saw her. There she is. You gotta You're unmute. on mute, girl. Oh, pretty. Where'd you, you go? Maybe having some. I wonder. Wait, I think I saw her up there. Okay. Let's see. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Okay. Sorry, my laptop is about to die. Lord. Yes. of my life anyway <laughs> hi ladies uh, my name is marguerite um i just randomly saw a girl open your bible in a facebook post somebody had commented about it i went to check out the website um, and i saw the coaching academy and so i hit up charity and sierra they hit me back and y'all it was like meeting my best friends my long lost best friends it was awesome um, for so many years, I grew up and lived with a spirit of rejection and a spirit of abandonment. And it took me a good two years to get healed and delivered from that. And then I met Charity and Sierra and how they were talking earlier in the webinar about bridging the gap. They have bridged the gap from where I have been healed to how can we propel you forward? What are you capable of? And I'm realizing that I'm capable and I'm good at a lot. I have discovered myself. I have um, discovered friends, lifelong friends that I know I will have. Um, if I never get to coach a woman when I graduate, it, it's been enough just for my personal growth and experience. But there's no way that you're going to be able to graduate this program and not want to help other women. Um, so I am just so thankful for Charity and Sierra. And also when they were talking about ask your father for the money, if you can't afford it, I am that girl. <laughs> I could not afford this. And <laughs> literally the day before I talked to Charity and Sierra, I got a raise at work. And that raise at work is what has made me be able to afford this. So um, ask and it will be given, ladies. You will not be disappointed when you join this academy. Mm -hmm. we love you thank you that's Marguerite. that's beautiful she was yeah she was yeah, she was yeah. like y'all when she was talking to she was like y'all i just got a raise i'm yeah, doing this that yeah, was a sign yeah. like what the lord say because we'll always ask yes, what does the lord yes. say she was like well the lord just gave me a raise so i i'm doing it yeah. and she came you know without delay mm -hmm. you know yeah we were ready for her he will provide for us hey angela okay next dearest this is our girl. Hey, D. No, you on no, mute. No, you on mute. You on mute. Uh, hi. <laughs> How are y'all? Good. <laughs> hi, boo. Okay, so I feel like everybody kind of hit what I had to say. So I'm just going to keep it, you know, 100 with y'all, honest how I came into this. So I was approached by these two ladies and, she and they were like, they really felt like I had a calling on my life um, to do this. And I was very skeptical. Um, very. One of my biggest fears is being thrown into something and not having that, the proper tools that is necessary 
or you know just being ripped off you know you think you're gonna go to the school and it don't happen and you're just by yourself I would have to say um one of my biggest takeaways is that um these coaches are available you know they made a system where um I am I didn't have to be fearful. I knew that they were going to walk alongside of me. I knew that I was going to have their guidance, their expertise. They, I knew that they were going to provide me with the tools. Um, so in that area, I wasn't scared. Also, um, like I said in the previous video, um, I am in school for nursing. So I thought that it would be very overwhelming. I was taking two of my hardest classes um, anatomy and physiology too, and microbiology. And they can tell you my, my schedule was crazy. Um, I do have a husband. He works all the time. So I have three boys with me pretty much at all times. And I was very concerned of how that would work out. So like I said, I was able to go to school. I was able to keep my grades up, not have to worry about me losing out on money because I pay for my tuition. I get no help on that. And then on top of that, still be able to afford to go through this program with these ladies. So if you feel like that's something that's going to hold you back, don't. I feel like this program or this academy with these ladies have helped me to bring awareness to myself, how I communicate, how I interpret. And I feel like in order to help anybody, you have to self-reflect. And I know y'all talked about that early, but that that really is a big thing. You have to be able to look within. So yeah, I was I, able to, to be able. look at myself and also like see how my husband communicates. So, oh, that might, you know, using the models. <laughs> oh, that might be why he's he acts like that when I say stuff like this, you know. Mm -hmm. so right. that, and then um, it was a journey of finding myself. I had to yes. look in my own closet and see the things that dearest do and be like, well, is that a good choice? How do, <laughs> how do I take that and apply that to my future where I can move forward? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're doing. We're helping people get, get from getting stuck in a certain area to move forward. If I can move myself forward, I can minister to those other women and help them propel their life for the future. Yeah. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing nothing. And also, remember what God has for you is for you. Yes. He's yes. going to make room for your gifts. So if you are worried again about being overwhelmed, he's gonna, he's gonna, it's already done. Just like the lady said she was worried about money. It's already done. He's going to make those movements for you. So I feel like this is one of the best things I could have did for myself, not just in a financial, from a financial uh, perspective, but also just in my life altogether. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dearest, you know that. I feel like every time we've asked you to do this, your story gets better and better. And I started remembering parts of when you went through and about the self realization. Yeah. There were some classes yes. know, in her class where everybody would be shook, right? We we would we would go through that class and we just be like, oh, and you could tell like where. They were really taking mm -hmm. it serious mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the Lord was getting there. It wasn't even not, not even about the curriculum. It was like the Lord was like, this is giving you, you know, and every time we teach it, you guys will hear us talk about ourselves. Yes. We be like, oh, yes. uh-huh, uh-huh. Dang it, not again, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so when she said that, like, that's legit her honest, yeah. you know, journey, yeah. you know, and it's beautiful. Dearest, we love you. Thank you for sharing. So, I love you guys and thank you for allowing me to and thank you for ministering to these women. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dears. Thank you, dears. Okay, y'all. That's it. Thanks yeah, for being here. Yes. You guys can message us on Facebook. Yep. At Girl Queen Bobby, you can message us. You can also drop your email. If you drop your email, you're getting a, a private message from us anyway. Yes. You know. Yes, yes, yes. And then if you have questions, you guys want to hop on, we'll stop the recording. And if you guys want to step in yeah, rooms with us, yeah. we can. If it's like, hey, I got a personal question, mm -hmm. we'll open up a Zoom mm -hmm. for you so you can get your personal questions answered. Yep. Let me stop this recording.